So thank you so much for joining us on this webinar. It is an introduction to oils. It's a 101 class. So I'm going to be um, really giving you the foundation and the basics and, and leave you empowered so that you know how to use your oils, what, how, what essential oils are, um, and to answer any questions that you have. So to start with, what are essential oils? They are the aromatic compounds found in the root or the stem or the flower or the bark or the leaf of a plant. So I think my first introduction or thought about essential oils you're familiar with is in your kitchen. So when you think about oregano or peppermint leaves, when you break them open, what you're smelling is that aromatic essential oil within the plant. So think about it as the lifeblood of a plant. So whether it is the flower, for example, lavender, or the root, for example, vetiver, this is um, these chemical compounds within the plant that have these aromatic qualities that our body responds to. So I'm going to show you a video um, that really gives a nice visual um, on essential oils and then we'll continue. There are no wasted efforts in nature. The fragrance of a flower. The smell of an orange or the scent of a pine tree all serve specific purposes vital to a plant's survival. What our senses perceive as fragrances or scents are actually volatile aromatic compounds, tiny organic molecules that serve a variety of protective, reproductive, and regenerative purposes. These compounds help ward off unfriendly pests, attract friendly herbivores and insects, and even help the plant heal from infection and physical injury. There are over 3,000 identified varieties of aromatic compounds, each with its own unique and functional chemical constituents that provide different aromas and benefits to the plants. From the petals of the flower, to the leaves of a plant, the rind of a fruit, or the resin of a tree, these volatile aromatic compounds are all around us. Distilled directly from the plant sources, essential oils are multifaceted agents that have seemingly endless applications to our health and can be used aromatically, topically, or internally. Ensuring the maximum potency and beneficial properties of essential oil are the result of maintaining the delicate ratio of aromatic constituents found in that essential oil, all of which can vary depending on the time of day or part of the plant which is harvested time of year or life cycle when harvested, the geographic location and weather where the plant was grown, or the method and even the duration of distillation. For that reason, it is vital that essential oils come from a trusted source committed to not only producing unadulterated essential oils, but to adhering to the strictest production protocols. There are no wasted efforts in nature. Neither should there be in the health care you provide for yourself and those you love. Okay. So, um, you know, when I first got into essential oils, and I always think about what are these challenges or what do people think when they hear about essential oils? And, and it makes me laugh because even after two years of using oils, my husband still calls them snake oils. So yes, that is something that people think they're like, oh, these snake oils, these magic potions, um, definitely are thought about as um, very hippie, like, you know, essential oils are this hippie yoga um, community. And then also when I used to think about an oil, I would think about olive oil or what you cook with. So these are some of the sort of challenges or stigmas that people think about when they first hear about essential oils. But 
you know, essential oils are not new. They have been around since baby Jesus. He was given frankincense and myrrh. Um, Hippocrates used essential oils in his medicine. Um, Cleopatra used essential oils for her beauty treatments. So this, the idea of essential oils and these things that we think about them really do go back to that they are, this is nothing new. They have been around forever. Um, people have trusted them for natural solutions, for plant-based medicine, for healing the body. Now, the way that we distill them or the science behind essential oils through doTERRA is different from, you know, thousands of years ago. But the concept of connecting back to the earth, of healing your body from the inside out is nothing new. And I mentioned earlier about um, being familiar with the aromatic compounds of plants in the kitchen. For example, when we use oregano or thyme or cilantro, um, what is the difference between herbs in the kitchen and your essential oils? Just know that essential oils of 50 to 70 times more powerful than herbs. So one drop of peppermint essential oil is the equivalent to 24 cups of peppermint tea. So yes, essential oils are very powerful. They are very potent. They are very concentrated as compared to your herbs in the kitchen. Um, as far as um, this, you know, doTERRA talks about a wellness pyramid. So um, really thinking about big picture of these little pieces of your puzzle. Okay, so what does wellness looks, look like? The foundation is always food. It's your nutrition. Then I want you to think about your exercise. The next day is rest and make stress and then toxic load, and then the top two are healthcare. So if our body is in a state of wellness, we are designed to heal and to function at an optimal level. So I want you to think about right now, what is a goal or a health concern that you may have in these layers? And know that it's also seasonal. So sometimes for me, um, stress may be a focus, like, hello, the holidays are coming, I have two children and a family, and already Halloween is two weeks away, and I can feel my stress level is like anticipating the holidays. So for the next couple months, rest and manage stress is a focus, and it's a goal. So with each of these layers, we have essential oils that are going to support specific goals. Okay, so... Know that it is seasonal. Know that it is big picture. Um, know what you're working on so that you know where to start. Um, I love talking about natural solutions, and I have been teaching about essential oils for about two years. Um, I feel empowered as a mom. I have two girls um, to teach and offer this because I do believe that um, – we have, we're living in a society where there's an epidemic of problem. You know, we have diabetes, we have um, attention deficit for children. You know, there, this is no surprise that more than 28,000 people overdose on prescription painkillers. I mean, some of these statistics just make my heart ache because I honestly feel like um, we, we at a crisis in where we are as a country. And even in the two years that I've been teaching about essential oils, um, I would say, you know, when I showed you that graph about the um, essential oils are not new, I, I think people used to think about them as alternative medicine and they were considered like hippie and things that, you know, grew in a yoga studio, whereas now essential oils are becoming mainstream. Like when I teach... I'm having doctors, nurses, moms, dads, like this is becoming 
um, an art craft from people because our culture is craving this information because of these statistics of where we're at in our health. But know that you don't have to choose. And I love this picture of this girl like wearing, uh, <laughs> she looks so like, I want to be in a, a farm, like in a field with lavender coming out of my hair. Uh, um, but you, you don't have to choose. So yes, we need Western medicine. Yes, you need to go to a doctor. There is a place in, in our country and in our world has grown into, this is something that is awesome. But natural solutions and going back to these ancient healing is just as an, as amazing and they can exist together so what i love about my girls is that if um you know Kay comes home and she has a runny nose i can actually give her something that can start helping and healing her without saying, oh my gosh, I'm going to wait until I need to take it to the doctor and she has a fever. So Sorry. these two can go together, Western medicine and natural solutions. You do not have to pick. When you think about um, essential oils in the market, the majority of what we find is synthetic. So this is, it, for example, um, you know, your, your ginger in... Uh, body lotion from Body Works or your spray from um, myself? Okay, hold on. Um, if you think about the synthetic and how it does take up most of the market, it is your your you know your, your ginger body lotion or your perfumes. Um, the next segment would be the food industry. So, for example, your cinnamon in cinnamon chewing gum or your lemon in lemon salad dressing. It's food grade, and there is a grade, and it's called GRAS, which means generally regarded as safe. The next little pie chart here in the purple is your therapeutic grade. Um, if you've ever been to a spa or you've had a massage, most massage therapists will use a therapeutic grade oil um, because they know how your skin is your biggest organ and anything that you put on your body is being absorbed. So it is a therapeutic grade. Now, doTERRA really took this to the next level. Like this company said, um, you know, I'm going to stand behind the testing. Everything's going to be third-party testing tested uh, for pesticides, for fillers, for alcohol. So we have a grade for doTERRA called CPTG, which means Certified Pure Therapy Grade. Okay, so it's 100% pure. Nothing is added. Not only is it the grading, the way that doTERRA sources their oils um, affects the potency of the essential oil so the best way for me to explain this would be um, why do you pay ten dollars for a bottle of wine but you can pay five hundred dollars for a bottle of wine well we know that it has to do with the grape which is affected by the soil and the climate and the altitude so i'm from south africa which we actually have most amazing wine in Cape Town. We have lots of wineries, and it has to do with the climate, the altitude, uh, the soil. It's exactly the same with essential oils. So plants that are grown indigenously, which means that they grow abundantly um, in good soil and in the environment, and everything is cohesive to this plant, yields a more potent essential oil. So if I had to grow lavender in my backyard, um, if you had to compare it to lavender grown in France or Bulgaria, first of all, the plant would look different. The, the essential oil distilled out of that flower under a microscope would look different chemically. So the, the CPTG rating um, really lends itself to the highest quality 
the most potent essential oils on the market. And actually, we just came back from convention, and I need to add this image to my to one of my slides because I just loved it. They had a, a bowl of Fruit Loops and then a bowl of fruit. And one of the examples was when you say to somebody, "Oh, I eat fruit for breakfast." Um, and it was a bowl of Fruit Loops, which is obviously not the same as a bowl of fruit. And because essential oils are becoming so, um, hold on, let me see if I can move this. There's a little button on the bottom that says mute. If you can hit mute so that there's no background noise. I don't know how to mute. Um, uh, I don't know how to do that. Let me see. Okay. Um, so, okay. Oh, so I, what I was saying about the somebody had their fruit loops is not the same as a bowl of fruit. Um, and this was really the example of, yes, you can find essential oils at Walmart. You can find essential oils at Target. Now, just because it says essential oils, that would be your bowl of Fruit Loops. It's not the same as a true 100% pure essential oil. So know that the research is there, that as far as how your body's responding, you want to use an essential oil that has not been tainted with or not added to or, you know, know where it's coming from. Um, so doTERRA is the number one essential oil company in the market, in the world, because of the quality and um, the grading of CPTG. So I'm going to talk about the three ways to use essential oils. So the first way is aromatic, and this is aromatherapy. So most of us are familiar with aromatherapy, what you're inhaling, um, and then your body's responding to. So there's this direct um, connection to, from your mind to your body and your smell. So we, we've all heard if you, lavender is very relaxing. So when you inhale lavender, your body responds by relaxing. So there's this connection from the brain to the body. Well, peppermint essential oil is very energizing and has focus okay so this connection um, from aroma to the body is aromatherapy so you can either um, do the cup and inhale method where you take your essential oil you drop let, like two drops in the palm of your hand and then you rub your palms together and you just inhale okay or you can use a diffuser. So here's a picture of a diffuser, um, and I have one like here in my office that's going. Um, the diffuser that they have here, the pedal diffuser, you know, you add water and five to six drops of the essential oil, and it just runs until the water has dissipated, and then it switches off. So this is really nice at night. Um, while you're sleeping, you could, you know, I use my diffuser all day. In the morning, I use essential oils that are energizing. At night, I'll use essential oils that are calming. Um, so aromatically through a diffuser. And a lot of people will ask me, um, is a diffuser the same as a humidifier? And the answer is no, um, because a humidifier is using heat. And anytime you heat an oil, it actually will break down the chemical 
components of the oil. So a diffuser actually runs off, it's like a sonic pulsing. So even though it looks like steam, it's cool. Like you can put your hand over it, it's cool air, but it's being dispersed into um, a room. So the second way to use essential oils is topical. And this is on the skin. So we know that anything that you put on your skin is being absorbed into your body. So really being mindful of um, toxic load, of what you're cleaning with, of what you're using on your skin because of the way that your body's responding from a hormone aspect, from um, so many different levels in the, in the body. But let's say you're having some tummy issue, you can actually use an essential oil directly on the tummy. Um, there's a picture here of feet. So especially for children, putting an essential oil on the bottom of their feet, your feet work as little sponges for the body. So when you use an oil, it actually gets absorbed into the whole um, bloodstream and is working on a full body response. Whereas if you have a headache, you would put the essential oil on your temples or on the back of your neck. And that way, topically, you're targeting a specific area where the oil is being absorbed. If you need to dilute an essential oil or you want to use it um, for massage, you would actually use coconut oil um, as a carrier oil. So you can use coconut oil that you have in your kitchen um, or jojoba oil, almond oil um, as, a, as a carrier oil for dilution for topical use. So if there's an oil, for example, oregano, that is a very hot oil, you would want to dilute it on the skin because it'll burn. doTERRA makes this, um, it's called fractionated coconut oil. It's exactly the same as the coconut oil that you have in your kitchen, except it's been fractioned, so it's not as fatty. So I don't know if any of you guys have ever um, tried using the coconut oil in your pantry, like on your skin, but it kind of leaves like a bit of a film and because it's very like oily, whereas the fractionated coconut oil is less oily. So I really like it. Um, the third way to use essential oils is internally. Now, this is very specific to doTERRA. So I do not suggest taking an essential oil internally um, other than doTERRA or Young Living. Like those are the two um, CPTG graded oils for internal use. But it's very, very powerful to take an uh, essential oil internally. You can either drop it underneath your tongue, you can add it to a glass of, a glass of water. Um, we do suggest glass over plastic because some of the citrus oils will um, break down the plastic um, or the styrofoam and that's not a good idea for you to be drinking. So we do suggest using glass. Um, or if you don't like the way that an essential oil tastes in water or underneath your tongue, you can use a veggie cap, and there's a picture here of, it's, um, it's just a capsule that opens, and you drop your essential oil into the capsule, close it, and then you take it internally. Um, you can cook with your essential oils. Now, cooking with them is not as powerful because, as I said earlier, the heat will break down the oil, but um, internal use is is awesome especially for like the nice you know like lemon wild orange peppermint um frankincense is one where i've heard opposing like i don't mind the way that it tastes i'll actually drop it underneath my tongue but some people will put it in a capsule for internal use so it just depends on if you like the way that it tastes or not so some safety, you never want to put essential oils in your eyes, your ears, or your nose um, because of the mucous membranes. So it's just super sensitive. If you need to dilute it, you will you know, use a vegetable oil like the fractionated coconut oil. You don't want to dilute 
um, essential oils with water because we all know water and oil doesn't mix. Um, doTERRA does have all of these, um, this way to grade or to show you how to use your oil. So as we're going through specifically the individual oils, you'll see if there's an A, it means for aromatic use, which is aroma. T would be topical on the skin. I can be used internally. If you see an N, it means can be used um, meat without dilution. So very few people have sensitivity to it. If you see an S, that means dilute for young or sensitive skin. So for my girls, um, if there is an oil that says S, I will dilute it. And if it has a D, for example, oregano, it means you must dilute. So um, just another thing I wanted to talk about before we get specifically into the individual oils is whenever you think about oil usage, I want you to think about nourishing your body and healing all day. So just like we know that you're supposed to drink eight glasses of water a day, you don't wake up in the morning and drink eight glasses at one time because you'd get a tummy ache and then drink no water the rest of the day. So I want you to think about your essential oil lifestyle. As you wake up, you have your oils for the morning, you have your oils for the afternoon, and then you have your oils for the evening. So it's really creating this practice throughout your day, just like food. So it really is this nourishing um, consistently throughout the day and creating that habit and that lifestyle. Okay. So we're going to talk about specific oils, and Jennifer is going to take the lead. All right. So this is really exciting for me because I think I have the best um, oils to get to teach on tonight. They're the easiest to integrate into your everyday lifestyle. So you see right there um, peppermint, lavender, and lemon that we already talked about starting off today. So the next slide is lavender and that's already been mentioned that it's great for its relaxing and calming properties um, I think someone mentioned earlier as well for headaches you also see for skin imperfections and I think that's uh, lavender is probably the one that most people are familiar with you've had the most experience whether it's in a lotion um, something over the counter that you've purchased so it's really easy to get into your lifestyle to use lavender. You can put a little bit in, say, a calming bath at night, put some on the bottom of your feet if you're needing help to sleep. Um, if you do have a headache or some seasonal support you're needing, you can rub it on your temples. And as Nikki said earlier, you can see at the bottom those letters. So for lavender, you can use it aromatically you can put it on topically and you don't even have to use the carrier oil because most people don't have an issue with lavender and then you can also use it internally um, it's not too bad it's it's a little bit of an adjustment in the flavor but i think for most people it's pretty mild so that's a great one to start trying to use every day in your life Peppermint, that would be the other one, I think, on top of lavender that most people are already familiar with. You may have used, you may have gotten, um, well, you've either used it in food or you've gotten, say, an essential oil from Whole Foods or something like that. Um, it is great for your breathing. So if you're needing respiratory support, a great place to apply it is on your chest, behind your neck, on your forehead. It helps obviously with digestion. I think everybody's heard that probably from their grandmother forever, that if you have a stomach ache, a cup of peppermint tea is great. So this peppermint oil is even that much more potent and that much more helpful. And it's another great one to start. You can combine it with the lavender as well to help for your seasonal allergy support. Melaleuca. 
So that's also known as tea tree. And I know a lot of people don't realize that, but you can use those two names synonymously. And I know earlier before we started, someone mentioned that they've used that on kids for lice. Um, you're going to hear a lot of nurses actually talk about that. I know now you can use it. It's beautiful to use on your skin for if you have a teen that has acne, um, if you have hives, if you have rashes going on, Melaleuca is just absolutely my favorite for any kind of skin issues that I might be having. And it's also great for your immune system. So you can take it internally as well to help when you're having different, especially when you're having flare ups, maybe um, a cold coming on, things like that. Melaleuca really helps to promote your and kick your immune system in. And then frankincense is absolutely, it's called, she has it on the slide right there. It's called the king of the oils. And it's called that for a reason. It was one of the oils that was brought to baby Jesus. And it is bar none the oil that absolutely everyone should have in their medicine cabinet and use on a daily basis. So her slide right here says you can take one to two drops in a veggie cap. Because as Nikki said earlier, some people aren't absolutely in love with the flavor. Um, I actually apply it to the roof of my mouth daily as a preventative. It's great if you put it on the bottom of your feet. It can help, as it says right there, to promote your mood. It's, people love it for headaches. So when you do have a headache coming on, you can apply it to your temples. Or again, you can rub it to the roof of your mouth. It's good for massage. It's good for when you've been outside and you come back in to, to really boost your immune system. Um, frankincense is, as I said, it's the king of the oils because it's the number one oil to help you at a cellular level fight the inflammation that we all have and the inflammation that in America is becoming such a huge issue leading to so much of our disease. Frankincense is a great oil to help prevent or support you um, as you're trying to create that healthy lifestyle and fight that inflammation. And lemon. This is the easiest one probably actually to get into your lifestyle daily. So you can wake up and first thing in the morning, make a cup of warm lemon water. So I think most people have heard of that but you can use the lemon oil instead of having to take the time and the effort and honestly make sure you have a lemon on hand all the time. You can put like two drops of the lemon oil in your warm water and just start your morning that way. It helps you detox from the very beginning for your day. And the lemon oil is even preferable to say cutting a lemon because the oil comes from the rind. So it's less acidic. So it's not going to hurt your teeth and um, you know your esophagus and your stomach quite the same way as maybe for a lot of people having a, a true lemon each day can. So lemon's great to do that. It's also wonderful to make your own home cleaners, your own body products. Um, it's great to bake with. It, it tastes really nice. The lemon oil has a great flavor to make your own salad dressings. So anything like that. Lemon really is probably the most versatile of all the oils and the easiest one to just jump in and it helps. You can also support your immune system with it by um, using it for seasonal support. And yes, as Hannah's put down there, you can directly put it on your skin. So there again, it's another one that if you have a teen that has acne, you can put the lemon oil directly on any spot that they, they have and you don't have to put anything with it and it helps detox that spot once you put it on. And it doesn't burn either, so it's really nice in that regard. Oregano. Now this is one you wanna make sure and see down at the bottom that it does say to dilute. So you would definitely want whatever carrier oil you're choosing, you would certainly want to use that. It is a hot oil. It's going to feel hot if you put it on. It's certainly going to feel too hot if you put it on without a carrier oil. So you could uh, say apply it on the bottom of your feet with your coconut oil, or you can take a veggie cap and put a drop or two in the veggie cap and take it. So that's much more gentle on your system. Um, and oregano is absolutely phenomenal 
because it is an antifungal, antiparasitic oil. The moment you feel a cold coming on, the moment you feel you think you might have the flu, um, you, you think you're fighting a case of, of um, some kind of parasite, oregano is the number one go-to. And that's actually one that the doctors, Western medical doctors will recommend that you use as well as oregano because everyone knows how powerful it is to fight um, the things like a, a fungal infection or a parasite. But definitely take precaution with it. So the best thing right there would be daily to start off and um, after your warm lemon water, you could do a veggie cap or put a couple of drops of each of those oils that are shown right there, the peppermint, the lemon, and the lavender. Put those together for seasonal support. And I know being in Texas that we fight that pretty much year round because we don't have any cold weather to really kill off anything. And so I use these, th these three oils together daily to help fight um, allergies and seasonal issues that come along. Awesome. Thanks, Jennifer. Um, I want to remind you guys too, if you have any questions or, you know, if you have any specific um, ailments that you want to talk about, please use the chat and, and mention that while we're talking. Um, okay, so I'm going to talk about the blends. I'm going to start off with Digest Sin. This is one of my favorites. It's made of ginger, peppermint, caraway, coriander, anise, tarragon, and fennel, all which are food products. So obviously they're going to go straight to your digestive system and help support you there. Um, Digestin is one I use, my kids use all the time. Um, and it's one that I let them put on themselves. I actually make like, you know, it comes in bottles. Well, then I make a little roll-on bottle so that I can hand it to them when they say, hey, mommy, my tummy, my tummy hurts. And, you know, with kids, it just seems like that happens a lot. Um, I hand them this. They rub it directly onto their tummy. And I can feel safe that I'm, you know, that, I, that I'm giving them something safe. I feel secure in that. And the great thing about these oils is it's not a magic pill. All it's doing is supporting your body to do what it's supposed to do. And that's what's great is it just comes alongside, you know, doing that. Um, but some other things that digestin is good for is just gas, bloating, indigestion, um, colitis, diarrhea, um, constipation, it's literally everything. So you can see there that it is obviously just going to support you, your body to do what it's supposed to do. Um, okay, and next we're going to talk about On Guard. I really do um, use On Guard a lot as well. And the thing that's beautiful about these blends that I get to talk about are that they are already done for you. <laughs> so you don't have to like think, Oh, what should I put together? And these are, this is one of our um, number one products is On Guard. Um, it supports your healthy immune system, respiratory function. I use this on my kids' feet a, a lot because they come home from mom's day out or school with that runny nose. Y'all know what it is. As soon as you see it and you're like, oh no, not again. To this day, 100%, it has stopped it to developing into something, you know, like serious, more serious. It's like usually within the next day or so, we're done. And it is, I, I love that because I can feel safe putting it on. Now, I do do a rollerball as well, like how, um, just like I do with the other one. And I put, put it on their feet. We put it on their feet because they're the largest pores and it's into your blood system within 30 seconds. And we, I put socks on them so that they don't touch, they don't touch their feet and then touch their face, you know, so you can um, be careful with that because it, it can be a high oil as well. Um, but On Guard is so popular that they have made a whole line of On Guard products, toothpaste, um, hand wash, cleaner, just even for your kitchen because cinnamon and clove, they are natural antioxidants and like they will, they just kill anything in its path. Um, okay, let's go on to the next one. That's breathe, I believe. Okay, so Jennifer was talking about the lavender, lemon, and peppermint. Um, something I love to use is, I use that as well, but breathe 
just feels amazing um, to support all this respiratory. I woke up two days ago with, you know, sometimes you just wake up in the morning with this clogged all right here. I don't know what it is, but you just wake up like that. And I had a headache and I usually do a peppermint and a frankincense for headaches, but I knew it was a sinus headache. And so I got my breathe out and I put the breathe right here on my temples and on my nose. And I like to put it on the back of my neck as well. My headache was gone. It was really, really amazing. And you guys, you know how you feel whenever you're stopped up. You know that, that pressure? It's no fun, right? Breathe is awesome. It also comes in this stick. And I want to show you this because my kids love this before they go to bed as well. Um, but we put it on our necks. And it's like a thick vapor rub type stick, but it's all natural. It's made with all... Um, all the breathe oils, which you can see there, are laurel leaf, the peppermint, eucalyptus, melaleuca, lemon, and, and they added cardamom to the new breathe. And cardamom is huge for supporting respiratory respiratory function. Okay. Oh, one more thing about breathe. So I hear that if you have anybody in your household that snores, you can diffuse free. Or, you know, if they're already asleep, just get some and just rub it right here. <laughs> you don't even have to tell them. <laughs> okay. Let's move on to Deep Blue because I love Deep Blue. Anybody who's working out or just have sore muscles, um, I woke up. I mean, I wake up every day, right? So far. Um, I, I woke up and I had a crick in my neck the other day and I put this Deep Blue on and it was gone by lunchtime and that's huge for me because it I usually take like a whole day or two to like work out my muscles I don't know what it is but anyways the deep blue is amazing it also smells amazing um you do not take when um you don't take deep blue internally it's only a topical one um it comes in the oil and it also comes in that rub that rub is amazing um chiropractors love this as well it is it's all, you know, when you put this stuff on you, you can just feel good that you're putting good products on your body and no synthetic anything. Okay. Let's see. Let's move on. Okay. So you're probably thinking, okay, these are awesome. How do I get them? How do I get them into my home? What do I do next? Um, I do want you to ask, ask yourself just these three questions. Um, do you want safer, cheaper, more effective healthcare? for yourself, for your family. Number two, do you want um, just a healthier lifestyle for you and your family? And number three, have you ever thought over the past year, just I wish I had some natural health supporting products in my home that I don't have to be afraid of the side effects. Um, so ask yourself those questions. If you say no to any of those, then you know this might not be for you and that's okay. Um, but over three million homes right now have do you have um, essential oils and everybody seeing, you know, with this day and age with the healthcare, it's like, that's what we're turning to. We're like, well, what can we do to be proactive on our health? What can we do that, that you can take charge of? And this is something so simple that you can do on your own to just try to stay away from the doctor. But Hey, guess what? You might still have to go to the doctor, but at least you tried, you know? And for the most part, my family has been way healthier because of using these oils. Um, okay, Nikki, let's go to the next slide. Okay, so how do you get them? Okay, one option is buying a wholesale membership, just like you're going to Sam's or Costco. You just buy your membership for $35, and for a year, you can get your oils at 25% off, which is the wholesale cost, and go from there. Um, but the best way and most cost-effective way is by getting a kit, an enrollment kit. And the enrollment kit, it includes your membership fee, so you don't even have to pay that. You also can get um, sign up for rewards, you get free products, and all your shipping, if you are in the rewards program, all your shipping can be, um, it's a 100% put back onto your account. So most people want to get the biggest kit for, you know, the most that they can without taking food off the table, right? Because you get the best, the best deals. I'm sorry if it's loud in here. I'm in Starbucks. Um, okay. So the rewards program, I'll touch on this real shortly. Um, depending on the kit you buy, you actually will make money back 
into your account. Basically, it's just a rewards program, like a frequent flyer miles type type program. So if if you get a kit, some of the kits might start off at twenty five percent. So if you get that kit, you spend a hundred dollars that month. You're going to get twenty five points or twenty five dollars put back into your account just as a reward, and that's pretty awesome. Now, if you start at the ten percent. Every three months, it will move up by 5% all the way until you reach 30%. And you're spending $100, you get 30 back into your account. So you're already getting 25% off the product and then 30%. So you're really getting 55% 55, 55 off. So it's an incredible deal. It rewards you for that. Okay. Oh, yay. I want to, this is October, right? Okay, um, <laughs> like, wait, um, this promotion right here is huge. We have talked all about these oils, which, you know, you take internally, it's supporting your body, but these supplements are top of the line. You will get, right now, if you just sign up this month, you get a kit, next month you place a 100 PV order, you're going to get all three of these for free. And they retail over a hundred hundred dollars. Um, real quickly, I'm just going to go through those. That first one you see, the Alpha CRX, is a cellular vitality pack um, complex. It helps with inflammation. It helps with to reduce oxidation, which is free radicals. Um, it helps produce the mitochondria energy. Amazing, and it's all stuff. No matter what, we can't get all these. No matter like how much you eat organic or whatever, you're, you're not going to be able to get all this in every single day. Um, and the food is just not what it used to be, you know, back in the old days. Um, the next one is the omegas you see right there. That is your omega-3s, omega-6s, and these are so, so important for you to get these. Um, and, you know, they help with just healthy brain function, help, healthy joint functions. Um, and what's really cool is it comes from the marine, it's marine based. And so there's no like fishy aftertaste, um, which is awesome. And it's infused and it's infused with nine, um, essential oils just to help with digestion. All of them are infused with these oils. The last one was just your food nutrient, um, which, you know, I mean, it's just great food. You take a couple of all of these and take a couple of them in the morning, take a couple of them at night. I promise you, you will have way more energy. You sleep better. I can... I can tell the world of difference. I have um, three herniated discs in my back. And since I've been taking these, I don't even feel them. I mean, all I can say is it's reduced my inflammation. I'm sleeping better. And, um, yeah, you just feel them. So you give it about two, two months or so, I promise you'll be able to tell a difference. But you get those free by signing up um, in October. So, yay. Okay, this is my favorite kit. It's the Natural Solutions Kit. Um, it comes with those 15 milliliter bottles right there. Um, it is phenomenal. It's a lifestyle kit. You, once you get your oils, you also get the deep blue rub. You get my favorite diffuser. It diffuses for eight hours. Um, it can do four or eight hours. It also comes with your whole, that lifelong vitality pack that I was just talking about. It comes with that. It comes with hand soap, toothpaste. I'm telling you what, this is, if you're like, I'm going to make a change for the better, for me and my family, this is it. This is the kit. It's the middle of the line. There's um, some really great ones that are more expensive. This is right there in the middle. And once you get this kit, you get one, and you, you spend 100 PV next month, which you would anyway, because then you would get your vitamins for free. But you also would get $100 or 100 points put back onto your account for getting this kit. Okay, another kit I'm going to talk about real quick is this Family Wellness. It's all in these touch series. If you see these bottles are like, like this, they're already diluted with the fraction coconut oil that Nikki was talking about. And you can, your kids, you can just feel safe. Your kids can go ahead and grab them. comes with the kids probiotics right there, the PB Assist Junior. Okay, I'm out of those, like, that quick. I got those. My kids love them. They are like, a, they're pixie sticks, basically, but they're probiotics, and they have prebiotics in them. They are fantastic for adults, too, who don't like swallowing pills, but just rest assured, your kids, they will love them. Um, you can mix them with water. My kids like them straight, and their vitamins are really yummy. My kids don't let me forget them. Every day, every morning, they tell me, I want my vitamin, I want my vitamin, so it's a great kit. 
and I think we're going to talk uh, about one more kit. Um, this is the Home Essentials. It comes with the 10 most used oils. It also comes with this pedal diffuser. Um, these are these kits are put together when people, you know, they, they, they're like, what? I know I want these oils. What do I do? These kits are put together by, with the most used oils. Um, so there's one, there's a kit for everyone. Um, we're here to help you and support you and your decisions and how, what you want to do. So if this isn't, I mean, just, just talk to us. We are, we want to answer your questions. Um, but this, this kit is, is, a, is a good selling kit right here. Um, and it's their price below wholesale. So if you were like, let me just get a couple oils and get a couple later. Remember that these kits have already waived your membership fee and they actually are priced lower than buying them individually at wholesale cost. So, and the, each bottle has, um, they're the big bottles, so they have about 250 drops per bottle. That's a lot. Okay. So, um, also enrolling with us, we will support you with 21 day training. We have private Facebook groups. So you get these oils. The last thing we want you to do is get these oils and be like, okay, what do I do? I don't know what to do. We are completely here to support you. Um, like I said, these Facebook groups, you just get on there and go, oh my gosh, I have this blah, 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 blah. Help me. What do I do? Um, and somebody will help you. Somebody will help you um, with that. And these training videos are awesome. For 21 days, you'll get an email and it'll just de describe a certain oil how to use it, and it's a short video clip, and it's written out, so you can decide if you want to watch it or just read it, um, but it, it really helps you learn your oils, and I save them so that if I can't watch them right then, like later, I'll go back and watch some, so yeah. Is that it? All right. Well, yay, so please, um, if y'all have any questions, we'll stay on here another five, ten minutes, um, answer any questions y'all have about anything. Um, it could be something specific, an oil you heard about, or about the kits, um, but main thing before you jump off, I just want you to make sure you contact um, the person that that called you onto this or you know connected you onto this webinar and and talk to them about your kit. I'm sure they'll reach out to you, um, but if not, just just make sure you, you touch base with them. Um, but yeah, I'll open the floor for any questions. Unmute yourself if you're going to ask it because we don't hear you if you don't. Christine, I know you're wanting to ask a question. Yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for somebody else to go first. I'm trying to think of how to word it. Um, give me a second to think about how I want to word it. Okay. I'm not, I'm not afraid of silence. Um, I, with the Home Essentials Kit, does it come with like a little book with the kit that tells you what each oil is and what it does? Or do you have to get that somewhere else? Yes, you can. Um, it doesn't come with. Oh, here, somebody answered the chat. I think. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nikki did that. Um, yes, you can get a kit. I mean, a, a book. Olivia would have something to hand you that would give you like some description on each oils. Um, there's also some really nice books. I know that she gives. If you did, you see any of these, Rachel? Let me show you real quick. Can you see this? Okay, this is an awesome book. Um, I know Olivia gives those if you host a class for her. And they're like $30 books. So it is in detail, like, oh, wow. Okay. Each thing. It's, it's really amazing. Um, but you'll have something little that, like, that also, would, so you would know the basic, like, what I do with this oil and that kind of stuff. But um, yeah. Think about hosting a class for her because she does those, those nice books. You know, I mean, even the web, the um, the doTERRA website, um, I'll show you how they have it laid out. The, by the way, this is our team, I sold in 10 page. So whoever sent you, um, you can get their telephone number, the email, and then the direct link to order from from the site, um, but the doTERRA website,
Like, let's say, for example, you get a, you get your kid and you like, oh my gosh, I really wanted to use um, frankincense, but I'm just not sure what she spoke about on that webinar. Um, you would go to single oils and then here under frankincense, when you click on it, it'll give you often called the king of oils, the description, some general uses, um, directions, in, diffuse, internal, topical, um, you know, the aromatic description, if it's warm, it's spicy, it's clean, and then the primary benefits. But just know that after you get your kit, um, whoever, that's why it's important to work with who sent you or who your coach is, because we do a wellness consultation and a membership overview. Um, so you have your oils and then we get on Zoom or on the phone and say, okay, now you've got your oils. Let's talk about specifically what your family is working on. And we'll actually walk you through some specific protocols for you so that you know what to do. So that's like you get your kid, we do the wellness consultation, um, show you the membership benefits of how to get into your um, account online. Because once you place this first order, like you have an account. So it's just like Amazon where you go in there, you place your order, um, you it ships directly to you, but we are here to answer questions. So um, Olivia will help you with the wellness consult, with the membership overview. Um, yeah, but then also just the doTERRA website. I mean, they have a blog, um, they have DIY recipes. I mean, there's so much information on here that empowers you with stuff, you know? Okay, thank you. Sure. I have a question. I think I know how to say it. Um, I'm on some um, medication for ulcerative colitis and I just am curious if, I, if there is a website or a reference that I could use to just make sure um, how the, the pharmaceuticals and the oils could possibly interact. Does that question make sense? Yeah. Do you want to answer that, Hannah? Sorry, I had to unmute myself. <laughs> um, yeah, you definitely want to make sure you do that. My, I mean, y'all can jump in with this too, would be to find a holistic doctor that would know. The, I like, think I just found one. Great. Because that, I know there's one in Nashville that I know, but obviously not here. But like to find somebody who does, who knows both. Because if you find, you know, one that just knows one, well then they're not going to know how they work together and they would just go, oh, don't use that or don't do that. And so if you can find one in your area, that, that's what I would do. That's okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, go ahead Nikki. I'm going to look it up in my book too. Oh, okay. I know. Um, there's a lot of doctors and hospitals that have started using uh, essential oils a lot. And so I just watched a, a thing on Vanderbilt, how they are diffusing it in their ER and how they were doing it because, I mean, hospitals smell, right? And so, like, they were diffusing it, but it was supporting them emotionally. And they, like, did this long stress, like, stress um, thing about saying, before the oils, like, this is how they were. And then after they've been diffusing them, it was really interesting. I just saw that Disney pumps, I don't know if they're using oils, but they're pumping scents into their park, into the Disneyland park to get that emotion to go. Yep. Emotion. They should use oils. It's that limbic system. Any other questions? Or dance. <laughs> Can y'all hear this? 